The Science Commons is a perfect state-of-the-art, best science building you can find. And it's really exciting to have one of those in Lesbridge because now we are part of really the elite group of scientists making the major breakthroughs. This is a space that is bright, it brings people together, it inspires, and it's comparable to the best research institutes in the world. It's really something that encourages us to punch above the line, to be even better, to do great science, make discoveries that will really bring main camp forward in a state-of-the-art building that facilitates this. What makes Science Commons so extraordinary is by the manner in which the architecture and the facility has been structured to foster research, teaching, collaborative space, public space, all in a domain that actually brings together multidisciplinary researchers, but also the public and others at large. The new science building is providing us with a permanent science outreach space, which very few educational institutions have. We have students coming in from the community that are now able to see not only just one lab and one experience, but they get to learn and explore that everything that this building has to offer in all the different labs and all the research that's going on here. Finbridge is a synthetic biology maker space. We're providing space and resources to students who want to become biotech entrepreneurs, as well as industry partners who would like to collaborate with researchers here on campus. It's also a space where community groups can come and do synthetic biology. I would describe the research at the University of Lethbridge as being in the forefront of bringing together inter- and transdisciplinary researchers to solve real problems facing Alberta and also Canada at large. I'm convinced that the solutions that we have to find for today and for future challenges are solutions that are best found at the interface of different disciplines. And that's why I'm super excited to now finally have these different disciplines in place together. Since neuroscience is inherently transdisciplinary, we bring together psychology, biology, biochemistry, physics and the like, having our institute be immediately adjacent to all our cognate disciplines makes our work far easier. It triggers new research approaches and provides us with the state-of-the-art methods in the other disciplines. Not many opportunities in architect's career to build on a site like this. First and foremost, this idea of science on display really informed the organization of the building. Making sure that this building was sustainable was critically important to us and the design team, but also to the students, to the faculty, everybody. The way that we had developed the building really looks to try and leverage that local climate as much as we possibly can. Collectively, we've been able to reduce the energy consumption of the building by about 50% over a very similar building like it. This building will draw scientists to Lethbridge, in particular junior scientists, graduate students, postdoc, and that will really ensure that we bring the best minds to Lethbridge to conduct world-class research here. They will learn to work in a state-of-the-art building and they will learn to work collaboratively because this is really the philosophy of Lethbridge and this building, to bring people together and to cross disciplinary boundaries and to generate the best ideas. One of the most satisfying aspects of being a scientist at the University of Lethbridge is to bring students, show them how to do science, how to answer questions using the basic tools of science. Many of these students have gone on to incredible, independent careers of their own. A lot of the research that we do has not been previously researched before. The ultimate goal of our research is to find a new anti-cancer compound. We're the only lab in Canada that has the capacity to test instruments that are destined for the next space exploration missions. I hope that I'll be able to apply the research in order to solve the problem of Alzheimer's disease in related dementias. We're enabling a view of our universe that no one else has ever seen. And that is really inspiring. I'm convinced that this facility is the best facility for research and science education in Canada. We're now in a space where we have a much easier contact with our colleagues. There's even a bit of a buzz about being in a new building, and we see that especially with the students. And that buzz turns out to be an energy that helps us with our experiments. It's just a beautiful building, and it's a beautiful place to think beautiful thoughts. And that's the kind of thing that can inspire people to produce great science.